what shape does the internet have? The internet is a cloud of linked information. And for me, the thing which is critical about it is that it is um, a cloud of information which understands where it is, when it's being used, and what the people, because at the end of the day it's about people, are doing when they need to make use of that information. I don't know that I'm completely optimistic. I think that it's clear that the internet is getting smarter and smarter. I don't know necessarily that we're getting smarter and smarter along with it. Um, something I have been thinking a lot about is, is just the importance of these physical meetings. And, and I get worried sometimes when some of my friends don't have them, when they spend too much time on their computers. The ideas that we had this afternoon, I didn't have them, but the, the five groups had, I don't think would have come about had we not had this physical space together and physical discussions. If we were all in Skype chat windows or on Google Wave or, or who knows what else, a lot probably could have been done, but I think that a lot happens that we as human beings, we need to see the facial expressions of someone else. We need to hear their voice in order to really come up with great ideas together. So I think, I think that over the next five years, the, the vision for how the internet is going to evolve is, is kind of obvious. There's going to be the internet of things. More appliances are going to get IP addresses. The semantic web will evolve and will become more formalized. And projects like Wolfram Alpha will be more significant because they can parse data from websites better. And we're going to have to have better visualization techniques to, to interpret all of this data. That's all going to happen, and devices like the Apple tablet are going to change how we experience the internet a little bit. But how we're going to evolve as human beings, I think one of the really important things is that there are leaders in each of our communities and among our communities of friends who are able to organize events like this, and that we keep coming out to them, and that we meet each other, and that we cook dinner at, at each other's homes, and that we think about these tools not as tools for themselves, but about how we want to be living our lives and how we want to be shaping our communities. And uh, that's why I was really happy with, with all of the projects that came out this afternoon in our workshop because they all looked at how Grotz could be improved using some of these technologies. It's, I think, mainly driven by the questions that exist around privacy. But I think it has um, consequences across almost everything we do on the internet. And that is that the internet is changing rapidly. There are a significant number of things which we can predict so there are a significant number of things which are already changing and therefore we can simply extrapolate. The thing which doesn't change as rapidly as the internet <coughs> is people. So in fact, anything that we do is predicated on it being accepted and used and taken up <coughs> by people, by users, by the people in this room. And um, the thing around privacy is, is I think, uh, really uh, comes to the forefront when you have that discussion because, yes, there's a lot of discussion about people becoming uh, more comfortable, more and uh, more willing to have all of their uh, life open on the internet. My question is, if that's true, how long that will take to truly be everyone? And I think that the, the sort of cultural change that that involves will take an awful lot longer than the speed that the internet will make it possible. And I think one of the real questions I have is whether we, as an industry, are going to be able to accept the uh, slowness of that rate of change. Look at the, at the people aspect of, um, yeah, to, to look at how did the cultural um, development because I mean the in in terms of uh, the the open design what what we thought about today I think the tools are not the issue at this point the the tools are there to share and in open source software uh, there has been a universe of of, of d different types of software being created in an open source uh, way so. And the tools are there, but the, the question is how we, yeah, we are using the tools and, and how we want to use the tools. And if we find 
ways to, um, how do we want to find ways to collaborate and to maybe jointly create resources and what is, what is it that, that we really want, that how, how is it that we want to use those tools?